um, they were, their dogs always kind of there in the background, right? Like they were never necessarily mentioned, especially in history dogs, you don't find nothing about them, but you always do find uh, people talking about them because they were such an important part of their lives. Everybody... My, my uh, name is Miriam Kerner and um, we are out here just a little bit south of La Ronge and uh, I'm here with Mr. Wiggles and treat other little pups here. <laughs> we have a dog team and um, you can see them right here behind us in the yard. And I guess dogs are our lifestyle. We spend most of our time with the dogs outside. In wintertime, of course, we take them out running and sledding. Just yesterday, we took a whole bunch of kids from the community out and um, give them rides around Kentucky Island. We also like to get lots of kids out to come and play with our puppies. I think it's, it's good <laughs> socializing for them. In a way, they connect me to the land because they're the ones taking us out to places that we don't get to see otherwise. And of course, having puppies always brings joy, brings always joy into our lives. So the painting and, um, and the, this ex exhibition here is um, from an illustration from the book when we had sled dogs. And as I mentioned before, it's um, late Ida Tromley's story of um, growing up on the trap line. And that's this painting here. Can again nine, hey, do this. <laughs> And on this painting here, um, the dog, the bed of hay. Igwa, let's go. My brother say, as I pull their little sleigh. So, and I mean, and that's one of the things I was wondering about, you know, what do you do with the dogs in winter? When you put the dogs in winter? And she said, yeah, you, you couldn't get straw easily. But they, they said they would go and freeze up before there was snow into the bay where the grass was really, really high. And they would cut that and dry that. And then they would use that for the bedding in winter. Even though the dogs are not often mentioned in, 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 in words, they're always there in the illustrations. They're always part of the family's life. Through the dogs, I learned a little bit about how things were done. And then I have all these questions. What did you feed them? You know, oh, you know we, we, we put up fish for them in the fall. And, you know, and how would you do that? They talk about just, um, smoking it. And so it's like all this bit by bit, you know, I learned about the culture through the dogs. <laughs> you know, that's one of the misconceptions we always got asked from people. What well, are those dogs? Are your dogs outside all the time? Um, yes, most of them there are. We do bring them in when it gets really cold, but half the dogs don't want to be even inside. When we got these guys here, we were worried too, you know, oh, they're without their mom now, are they going to be warm? But they were just happy as can be, and we found them sleeping in the snowbank one morning. <laughs> they didn't even want their house. <laughs>